Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Ari Furetta from Commonplace to World's Strongest. I definitely heard a lot about this anime series, but not in a good way. People were calling it trash and a waste of time. Some were calling it the worst Isekai anime series ever. I was really curious to see if it was as bad as everyone said it was. In this anime series, the main character Hajime and his classmates have been transported to a different world. They must save the kingdom from its enemies. Hajime and his friends start to explore dungeons, hoping to get stronger. So far it seems like a typical Isekai anime series, but suddenly one of Hajime's classmates betray him during a battle with monsters, and he's left to die. Surprisingly, Hajime survives, but learns just how harsh this dungeon can be. He learns quickly to kill or be killed. He won't show mercy towards anyone anymore, and won't trust anyone either. So obviously you can feel the edge so far, and I think that factors in on people's dislike on the show. Also, the CGI looked really bad in the first episode. People also didn't like how there was so much focus on the harm aspect. It took the focus off the plot and exploring dungeons. After watching the anime though, I actually enjoyed watching it a lot. I like it because of the harm and because of the main character's personality. I can't tell you enough how amazing it is that for once, the main character doesn't just let the villain go free and let them attack them again. Hajime is like, nope, I'm not giving you mercy and letting you attack me later on. I'm killing you now. He's ruthless and I love it. The only problem though is that often he says, I will kill anyone that gets in my way. You can just do that though. You don't need to repeat it out loud over and over. It just seems really edgy. The fight scenes were okay in Sammy series. It's just what you expect out of Isekai anime series with standard magical spells and weapons. There weren't any skills that stood apart to me. I did like the teamwork between Hajime and his harm on defeating enemies. Hajime is not that overpowered. He needs his harm help during fights. Some of the fights actually had attention to them. Not the last fight in this anime series, but I would say the other fights, especially the fight early on, when he was trying to save Yue. In no way was he overpowered during that fight. That was an enjoyable fight scene to watch. Now let's talk about one other issue people had with the show, which was the harem. To me, that's just confusing why people are upset, because this anime has a harem tag. It's clearly a harem. Just what did you expect? Hajime has one of the best harems a guy could have. Everyone is loving and kind towards Hajime, there is no annoying cliche sooner at all in the show. It's amusing to see him want to get Hajime attention. This is an unpopular opinion, but I really like the bunny girl. She was very loving and sweet towards Hajime. People hate her because she looks like a character made for the sole purpose of fan service, but she is such a great dear dear character. I don't get the hate on her. The plot in this anime series isn't that amazing, it's just the main character exploring dungeons with his harem. It's not anything mind blowing, but I'd rather see that than a cliche story about finding the demon king. I like almost all the characters in this show that got major screen time. Yue is a perfect girlfriend. She is loving, sweet, supportive, and she won't get jealous over every small thing. Shia is a blind girl character, and I already gave my opinion on her. She's a great dear dear character. The character Tio is like Darkness from Konosuba in that she loves feeling pain and being humiliated, which was funny to watch. Hajime is a unique main character, he's ruthless, but not to the point of being obsessed with revenge and doing awful things like the main character in Redo of a Healer. He's the kind of main character I like to see. The only character I was not a big fan of was Miyu. Nothing against her, she's a kind character, but I don't want to see a lolly in the horror. The opening song in this anime series was alright. The ending song was also okay. The animation style looked decent, and the animation during the fight scenes was just watchable. You're certainly not watching this anime series for the animation. Despite how negative people were about the show, it wasn't that bad, it was watchable. Hajime is exactly the kind of main character I like to see. He just needs to not shout about how he will kill anyone that gets in his way. Just seems really odd. His interactions with Sarum were amusing to watch. It's like he's a Sundere character, and they're the dear dear characters, which was a funny dynamic to watch. I like how everyone in the Harum is so loving and not afraid to show their affection towards him. You won't be amazed by the fight scenes or plot, but the characters in the harem are enough to keep you interested in the show. I give this anime a 7 out of 10. So that's all I'm talking about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.